welcome to Cooking with Mr. Ware. Today, we're gonna to be making some bread. Um, I've gone ahead and gathered a lot of the ingredients and tools that we're gonna need. Uh, this bread is called no knead bread because you don't need to knead it. Um, it's a two day bread. You're gonna mix up the ingredients today. You're gonna to let it rise overnight and then you're gonna bake it up tomorrow. So let's get started. Um, I like to keep my uh, recipe. I've got it here on the inside of my cabinet because I like to make this bread pretty frequently. Um, our first ingredient is three cups of flour. I keep my flour in this bucket. So the way I like to measure flour is I get a knife and I get my tool, my cup. I'm gonna scoop out some and then you do this kind of, I learned this in my foods class in middle school. So you kind of do this little bit of chop, chop, chop. You kind of pushing off flour as you go and then you smooth it off there. So we got one cup. Ooh, look at that cup. You got two cups. And our final cup. All right, checking our recipe. Calls for a teaspoon and a half of salt. I've got this kind of cool uh, adjustable measuring spoon here. So I'm gonna mark it to a teaspoon and a half. Pour in my salt. All right, next up I believe is my yeast. Yep, grab that from the fridge here. Put in a half a teaspoon of yeast. If I can get it here. And then last up is the water. We need a cup and a half. Got this Pyrex, I like to fill it up from my fridge. You wanna make sure you get nice and level with it so you can tell that you've met, met your line. There we go, cup and a half. Uh, make sure you've got your stirring implement ready. I like to stir with this kind of spatula, spoony sort of thing. Um, I like to kind of mix in the ingredients that I have, my dry ingredients. And then you pour in your water, and start mixing that in. So you're gonna wanna kinda mix it until everything is kind of incorporated into a dough. Now, if it seems a little bit too dry, like mine does here, you can add a little bit of water. But you don't want to go too crazy. Just add a little bit at a time, because it can go from dry to too moist pretty quickly. So just gonna add a little bit of water, stir it around. 
you kind of you don't want to have any uh, little clumps of unstirred in flour. Take this knife and kind of cut off any excess I have here on the spoon. And then you're just gonna, if you've got a bowl with a lid like I've got, just put the lid on, or you can cover it up with like a plate or something, and you're just gonna set that aside to rise overnight. And we'll see you tomorrow for the second half.